Hi there, Julian from Easily, and today we're going to be having a quick look at Google page speed. Now we know it's really important for your visitors to your website to have a really good experience and a lot of that depends on how quickly the page loads, the home page, the internal pages and so on. Google have given us this really neat tool, page speed, that allows us to look at a number of different aspects on our website to make sure that it's optimized and it works as quickly as possible. Now if you literally go into Google and type in Google page speed uh, you'll find this uh, this web page here. Now, now, there are two prerequisites. The first thing you need to be able to do is to install um, uh, Firebug, which is here, and then to install um, PageSpeed itself, which, which, which we'll do right now. So, um, we've already got Firefox installed. We're going to install Firebug. Um, you literally click on the link, click Add to Firefox, install 321, run it, and then you click on Restart Firefox. and then give it a few seconds and Firefox just restarts itself and then the last thing you do is to then we close that if we go back as you can see we've got Firebug installed already so uh, Firebug's already installed so now what we need to do is install page speed so click on install page speed allow Three, two, one, install, and that downloads the PageSpeed plugin for Firebug. And then once that's completed, we'll have an opportunity to restart Firefox. We'll do that again. And Firefox is restarting for us close this window right now we're ready to go so there's now a page speed uh, tab button on uh, firebug and you can have this installed as an uh, as a separate window or have it running in the window so if we go to a website uh, we can have a look at BBC News and click on analyze page speed you'll see here Google is tapping away analyzing the different images and so on and so forth and all of the different various aspects on the site and if we pull this up we'll see a number of things so uh, and you just click on the plus button and essentially Google gives us gives us some suggestions for the site and says if we used gzip we could reduce the file size on some of these components we could leverage browser caching so that the browser didn't have to reload the, um, the particular images each time and uh, what else have we got? We've got external JavaScript, um, some recommendations there, um, and some other technical recommendations here. It also gives recommendations to optimizing the style and scripts and external CSS and so on and so forth. Um, but as you can see, also what it does is um, we've got here the optimization of images has has been done. Um, it's done pretty well but what it does here is it says that we can reduce the images by about three and a half percent and if you scroll over it gives you um, the image and then it gives you the compressed version so you can see that there isn't much in it but you know there is some saving most of these things here most of these recommendations you might only save a few percent but at the end of it you end up saving quite a bit which will help with your overall page speed um, so again you can just have a look here at some of the performance summary objectives it gives you um, pretty good tool there again it helps your user experience that's Google PageSpeed hope you've enjoyed it bye bye